just wanted to bring you a first impression of a brand I only recently became a, aware of. Uh, it's Scrappy Tail Crafts, and one of my online friends, Brian, had shown off some of their card kit for Valentine's Day, so that's what I picked up. And they're an interesting company because they're sort of... First and foremost, a die company, which you don't see all that much. I mean, I guess I would say Spellbinders is, you could kind of argue it's first and foremost a die company, but I mean, I, I feel like they're sort of monthly, even their monthly dies, like they're sort of seen more in a larger release context. But anyway, uh, we have a cute little note. The uh, release is called Jador, which I may be butchering because I don't really know how to speak French. But basically, it is inspired by France and love and all that kind of good stuff. So there is one non-included item which I picked up, which are these cute little animal dies. Um, just because I seem to use the like animals on cards a lot. And I like that it's kind of a nice mix. Um, this was relatively inexpensive. I think this was about 15 bucks, and you know you get, oops, I am, yeah, you, know, you get six different animals, uh, two cats, two dogs, and two rabbits, um, and you know it looks pretty cool. But here's the thing I was most drawn to is actually the paper, because that's what I saw demoed, and. I was sort of like, oh, I might as well pick up the kit because I didn't know much too much about the brand. So let's take a look. And uh, if you look at it, these are all double-sided papers. Um, they're all using sort of elements from the stamp line. And you see a lot of, you know, like you have this sort of chessboard with fleur-de-lis. And then you have some more obvious sort of Eiffel Tower kind of things. Uh, th this actually coordinates with the stencil. I forget if it's in the kit or not. but And then uh, just sort of some nice words. Uh, I liked it because the color palette isn't, well, I guess this one is kind of traditional Valentine's Day. But there's a lot of non-traditional colors in here, which is always kind of nice. And then these guys repeat. So I was really, really thought the paper pad looked cool. And it's... A little lighter weight than the cat scrappiness ones, but still more of a lightweight cardstock as opposed to like an actual like um, paper paper like you might see with Spellbinders. So the next piece of the kit is this paper piecing die, and the line has a lot of these. This is a relatively simple one. You know, you have sort of the man's coat, the women's dress, hair, um, the pants. So, I mean, you would sort of cut out, basically you would cut out the base, usually in, you know, probably in whatever, like, flesh tone you're going to want to use, because, like, the the, le the legs here are going to sort of remain that color. Because you got the shoes, but you're not really, um, yeah, and then you sort of have the bottom part of the dress and the sleeve part of the dress. Anyway, you get the idea. But there are a lot of these, and they, she also has made a lot of uh, fairly elaborate, like, interactive card dies, which also looks interesting, but I kind of wanted to look at sort of, a, you know, something a little more similar, or a little simpler, I guess, because, like, I often will buy complicated dies, but then wind up not using them, because it's sort of like, well, you have this whole, like, process of die making. And I guess I should say... So we're going to, excluding this, this card kit was 40 bucks, so it's sort of in the same price range as the old Spellbinders one that doesn't exist anymore. This is a three-layered stencil, which is this Paris paper. You could do if I can pull it out. Yeah, so you've got three layers. You have the words, the Eiffel Tower, and the hearts, basically. And I like that this one a lot, actually, because... Like, you could use the hearts just for Valentine's Day or really for whatever. I mean, hearts aren't necessarily super bound to one thing. And then the last major piece of the card kit is a... Uh, there we go. I'll just... Well, I'll just leave this where it is. You get the idea. Uh, it is a... Uh, 
pretty big stamp set. I really like this central image, and I really like the moped. I thought these two were the most sort of universal. It comes with a lot of sentiments, and some of these are a little... I know what the word I'm looking for exactly is. Uh, they had a little bit more... They're sort of a cur curvier font. I, I tend to like simpler fonts like the one for the Jador. And I really like this image, just as sort of a focal point on a card. Because like, this would be a really good thing to use if you wanted to just do a pretty elaborate background and just stamp this in black and do a silhouette card. Uh, same for the light post as well. Uh, so like you could use these together or separately. And obviously you could just ink the Eiffel Tower and like not use the words as well. Um, so you could also sort of mask it off that way. Anyway, um, yeah, so there's a lot of, uh, it's a very lovey kind of sentiment. And I think just generally the stamp sets uh, between the couple and like the rest of the line is a lot more like, uh, like Galentine's sort of uh, girlfriends, essentially. This one I think is cool too with the, the poodle. I mean, it's got a very sort of French aesthetic. And if you actually cut, die cut this out, uh, you know, the the woman here who's sitting can sit on either the moped or on the Jador sign as well. So that's an option. It does come with coordinating dies, which I didn't buy. Um, I've kind of stopped buying the coordinating dies just because it seems like I don't get a lot of use out of them personally. But anyway, as I ramble. And then it also came up with some ephemera. So we have a couple different, sort of a pink and a red heart mix. So it came with those as well. And I like this bag. This is a really cool. Uh, and so I think the theming here is on point. Um, it feels like a stamp set that like I would probably just use different sentiments. Just because I don't send, the, I mean, some of these, like, have a fabulous birthday I like a lot. Uh, Paris is always a good idea. I don't know. I, I, I'm curious to see how much I use the actual Paris theme. Um, so, I mean, that, that I think will be kind of interesting. So, I, I think this is a good value for money. This is a pretty pretty big stamp set. I think I would be more overjoyed if, like, I think I I think there are other there are other releases they've done that I like am more excited about the theme. I guess I mean and, like I I don't I'm not sure quite how to put this. Like I feel like I don't make a lot of very love focused Valentine's Day cards just because like. The friendship ones, you can send to almost anyone, but, like, you know, if you're sending someone a card with, like, a happy couple on it, like, you know, you'd assume that they were a happy couple. So, anyway, I, I think the quality here is outstanding. So, I almost would like to try some of the other pieces. But let me know bef down below. There's some pretty elaborate card projects, and I usually try and keep things sort of simple and accessible, but uh, if you guys are interested in seeing sort of like a more elaborate kind of uh, 3D cards kind of stuff, let me know, because um, we could definitely try that out. There, There's a really neat, like, pop-up set that comes with a whole bunch of different th theming I was looking at, and they also had one that was sort of... They did a Tropical Birds sort of kit release as well that most of the stuff is still available for. So those were the ones I looked at, and I was like, wow, those are really cool. Um, these I think I'm going to get... The, these de the animal die cuts I'm going to get a ton of use out of. This one I'm not sure. It seems like something you would hold in your stash and use like when the opportunity came up. I think the stencil is going to be killer. I think the pattern paper is going to be killer. I think I'll use about half of the stamp set. Well, more than that. I, I like this sort of breakfast in Paris theme a lot. I, I could see using this as just sort of a springy thing. I'm not sure that I would use the... Uh, women's stamps as much unless, unless I was making the card for someone and I knew that like uh, that would match the theme. So anyway, those were just my initial thoughts, but let me know what you think. And that was my cat. Anyway, 
Catch you guys later for some uh, Galentine's Day cards later this weekend, probably.